Hi guys, welcome back to another speed build in The Sims 4, I'm Kiku Bills and for today's video we are building a big family ranch on a 64 by 64 lot in Chestnut Ridge that is the word that came with the latest expansion pack, Horse Ranch. This house ended up costing around 68,000 simoleons. It's quite a big house. We have in this house five bedrooms with a bedroom for parents, two kids' bedrooms, one nursery, and a fifth bedroom that to me was a guest room or maybe a room for a nanny if we could have nannies in the game because there is quite a lot to do on this slot quite a lot I place a stables I mean I place stables because of course we are in the horse wrench um, world and the horse wrench pack so I place stables we have four horse, horse stalls in the stables I also placed on this slot an animal shed with a cow a chicken coop with two chicken two mini ships as well <laughs> so you have quite a lot of livestock to care for on this slot plus the horses if you decide to have four horses in this household the household that will live here we also have other type of activities, uh, outdoor activities on this slot. Um, I placed a greenhouse and a gardening patch because they also will be able to, I mean the household that lives here will also be able to craft nectar. So I placed a nectar making machine, actually two nectar making machines in this slot, one outside for the beautiful days and one inside in the basement in the cellar <laughs> for cold days and we have in the cellar as well we have uh, a lot of racks for your nectars to age finely and to age more rapidly because if you knew i don't know if you knew but you can actually craft nectar, nectar with this expansion pack and you have to place them in those racks for them to age and then you get more simoleons when you sell them but they age mer more uh, I mean quicker or faster when they are in the basement or the cellar just like in real life and you make quite a lot of money with that I was able to make a lot of money because um, the previous build that I posted or I uploaded of on this channel was a nectar maker a nectar maker's home and I was able also to play with the little electronica that I made for that home and I was able to make quite a lot of money with those bottles and it was very very much fun so yeah as I was saying <laughs> I placed a gardening patch um, nectar making machines and a greenhouse because of course for them to grow their crops to be able to make nectar and also the greenhouse is for the cold days and the cold seasons such as the winter so in the winter you will be able to still grow your crops and fruits um, inside the greenhouse so this house will be available as usual on the gallery under my id kikwa on the school builds uh, you will also find the tray files down below in the description box if you prefer to directly download the tray files. I also created the little household that lives here. It's a household of four sims and two horses, so six slots. Um, we have a stallion and a foal. We have two kids. They are twins, a boy and a girl. And we have two parents so you still have room to grow this household however you would like maybe with horses maybe with more kids or maybe with other pets like cats and dogs because inside in this house I also placed things I mean balls footballs and uh, cat tree and also a little training training yard at the back for a dog so you have everything on this slot for you to enjoy <laughs> mind you you won't be able to use everything at the same time because first of all i don't think you will have enough slot to have four horses plus every sims to fill all the beds that we have in this home but you have the choice to 
to use or to make the household that you want oh yes and I also placed on this slot a fishing pond so we have a pond and also, I also placed a debug sign for fishing so that you can also train your fishing skills on the slot so yeah as you can see a lot a lot to do um, yeah <laughs> what you're seeing on screen right now are the stables as you could see I built the whole stalls with inside each stall we have a personal bed and also their feeder I think the little the little I don't know what it's called uh, the little thing for the, the horses to drink water I think I placed one only outside uh, don't quite remember I wasn't watching the screen while talking to you but yeah now I'm placing also the little animal shed um, that we are seeing here with a brown cow that will come with this lot and I deliberately I shrunk it down but I deliberately didn't shrink it to the minimum because you still have to be able to access it so I hid I hid it underneath a haystack so you can still use it I let it protrude a little bit out of the haystack so you can still see a little bit of the animal shed so that you can click on it to be able to refill the feed and also to be able to clean it and you will also be able to woohoo in it so yeah it's completely functional and I really I really love it I really love the stables I love the wood sidings that I place outside of the on the outside walls they are walls that came obviously with the horse ranch pack and I really love them <laughs> I really love it I used them on my previous build as well but I think they looked so so good on these tables and uh, I love that the little animal shed that I made a little extension on the side for the stables I really love the stables I mean I think there it's the my favorite structure on this lot <laughs> except uh, apart from the house I love the house as well of course but I, I I have a soft spot for the stables so yeah um in the little field there that is fenced up next to the stables and and um, around the animal shed we also have in this space we also have the chicken coop and you will have your little ships ship in there and the mini goats um, and I also placed two balloons for your horses to to play to be able to play and entertain them themselves so now I'm building the entryway or the entrance of the ranch and uh, I tried to make it look um, like the original entrance that was um, on this slot because on this slot it wasn't an empty empty lot I think we had maybe a couple of trees we had some bushes here and there and we also have an entrance and I really liked it so I decided to place an entrance that looked a little bit like like the one that we had previously um, so yeah I also placed oh yeah I I didn't say uh, when I was talking about the activities that we have on this list of course we have we have everything for your horse training meaning we have the um, the barrel racing barrels <laughs> and we also have the um, the bars for your horse to be able to practice the jumping so now you are seeing the greenhouse that I made wooden we wouldn't call the swatches because I wanted it to fit in with the rest of the house and the rest of the lot as you can see the house I didn't speak I didn't talk about the house but the house is entirely made of wood I think I made it with the timber style of uh, sidings outside um, timber or log I really I really love them and I think they look like we are in a more kind of more rustic style home um, and I really love it I really wanted this house to look inside like more on the rustic side but at, as well it's kind of a modern style wrench um, I, I don't know I think in my mind it's like a modern style wrench it's a little in between uh, the two modern and also traditional because of the materials that we used on the outside walls and inside as well it's very very rustic inside um, you will see this in a minute and um, 
for the house something that I didn't say for the house I I got my inspiration inspiration from Pinterest obviously so I looked up a lot a lot of houses and I based it on I based this house on on what I saw on Pinterest and what I liked uh, on Pinterest especially the central structure with the high walls and the beams that go up uh, up, up to the roof and also the big bay windows this central structure is really the central attraction of this house um, and also we have the porch that's going all around the house with those columns as well that came with um, the back so everything I mean in the house all the walls the wallpapers except maybe for the, the um, bathrooms and for the kids bedrooms as well but all the wallpapers the floorings and um, also the ceiling paintings uh, came with the horse wrench expansion pack it goes as well to say for the stables as well um, yeah not doing the landscaping and um, decorating the exterior really uh, what I wanted was this central alleyway um, where I wanted it to be wide enough for the cars and the horse trolleys to fit in and not take up all the space because you still want your horses and your sims to be able to walk around those um, items so I did have to to have a big uh, a big alleyway leading up to the house the front of the house and I also kind of lined them up this alley with those lines of rocks that came also with the expansion pack and those lines of rock I really love them um, they came in the debug menu of this um, this pack we also have this little fire pit here that I think is so so cute it also came with the expansion pack and I placed some um, in front of the house I made this little area here for them to dine outside and to lounge as well okay, because it's a little lounging space and to with a barbecue grill as well for them to actually have nice picnics outside when it's beautiful a beautiful day outside so yeah um, yeah so I placed a lot of items that came with from the debug menu all those bushes and those flowers on the floor came with the debug menus um, the trees as well a lot of those trees that are placed on the slot came from the debug menu from the the actual the pack the actual pack the little grass wild, wild grass that I placed um, here and there came from cottage living a lot of the things that I placed uh, in the deep from the debug menus for the decoration and the landscaping came from also cottage living because we have a lot a lot of little things like little grass bushes flowers and things like that that came with cottage living and also I think uh, the little wheelbarrows with the flowers uh, that you saw next to the gardening patch they came also with cottage living cottage living is a pack that goes so so well with this horse wrench pack as you can see of course um, I also mixed this pack for the livestock like to have like a farm it's like a farm and a ranch at the same time um, yeah and as you can see I also placed next to the pond a little lounge space with those lounge chairs for those seems to enjoy a fresh and cool breeze coming up from the pond while sunbathing why not the truck next to the greenhouse is filled with barrels barrels filled with nectar because our ranches here are actually nectar makers as well and they sell nectar for a living <laughs> i guess <laughs> um yeah so as you can see i placed a little nectar maker as well uh, uh, in the shade underneath this tree and I also place a tree house for your sims to enjoy with their kids and a swing set that was placed um, behind in this little area here behind uh, the nectar making machine. This little area, I think it's so sweet. 
um, comprised of the nectar maker, the swing, and also the tree house. I really love this little area here. I think I would spend most of my days here if I lived there. <laughs> uh, yeah, next to um, next to the greenhouse as well, I placed a patch here for it's like an orchard, and I placed crops for apple trees because the first actually the first nectars that you're able to make with zero nectar maker skills are the apple nectar and also the the grape nectar so it's apple cider and wine we won't say it too loud <laughs> but yeah um I love this I love this house. It took a long time to build actually. I think six maybe next to seven hours. It was very long. <laughs> I mean at least the recording length of the recording was six to seven hours. Uh it was very long, but I really enjoyed building it. I really enjoyed doing the exterior as well, and especially the exterior. I love love the exterior when I build a house. I love to have a nice landscaping and a place where you, your sims can actually evolve outside and uh, do a lot of outside activities and enjoy the um, the outdoors. I love the outdoors in The Sims 4. <laughs> I love the outdoors in, in real life as well. So yeah, as I was saying this, uh, as I was saying earlier, the greenhouse is for the cold days when actually your crops and your plants cannot grow in the winter you can still produce your fruits during the winter in this greenhouse and still continue making your nectar so back to this little space here that is a the little picnic area outside and this little lounge space i love this table the grill as well i think all the furniture the pieces of furniture that i place outside on this area outside here are came with the pack mainly most of the things that i placed on this lot i mean inside the house actually the furniture and everything most of them came with the pack um the the lights also that i'm placing outside of the house came also with the pack and uh, yeah, I thought of splitting this video into two videos actually. The first one for the exterior, the second one for the interior because this video was coming, was becoming very, very long. It was long actually. Uh, before I edited out a lot of the parts <laughs> of this, uh, this house for the inside, I think you won't see every single room maybe. I will talk about this a little later on but afterwards I decided against splitting it and keeping everything in just one video. I prefer keeping everything in just one video so even though it's kind of a long video I think it will be a little longer than 40 minutes just a little over 40 minutes not too sure but yeah I hope you will still enjoy it until the end. The second part of the video will be the furnishing of the interior of course and yeah <laughs> now placing the plants um on the outside and also the little fire pit here that came with the little campus kit and i decided to place it into a sunken spot here and it's completely functional you sims can still gather around tell stories roast marshmallows and hot dogs and whatnot so it's a cute little spot for you sims here to enjoy the outdoors, kind of. <laughs> but yeah, now we are inside of the house and uh, as you're saying, as you are seeing, I am, I did the flooring, as I said earlier, the flooring and the walls and also the ceiling painting were all came with the pack. Um, I placed some accent walls as well here and there with the stone walls that also came with the pack. I really love the stone walls. I really love accent walls. If you want to embellish the inside of your homes and to give it a little, hmm, something a little classy or just, yeah, something a little more interesting for the eyes, I suggest you place accent walls here and there. Very often accent walls in stone, stone accent walls are very, 
I don't know, they add a rustic look, but sometimes it looks a little classy as well. So it depends on the entire look for or the vibe that you're going in for the inside. But yeah, inside here, I went with a rustic look, as you can see, with the dark swatches of the, the dark swatches for the wood and for the browns. So I love those um, living room furniture, the couch and the armchairs with the... Uh, I, I prefer to say fake animal skin, fake cow skin, because I don't really like to think that it's real cow. But yeah, we still eat cows, so it shouldn't be a problem. But anyways, um, I love it. Uh, I love the rustic look of it. And uh, I placed also the chairs. I love the chairs as well. The swatches for the chairs and the table all came with the, the pack as well. For the living room, the um, the table hmm, the coffee table actually came with um seasons because i didn't think i think the little coffee table that came with the pack was too small for my liking for i because i wanted big spaces inside this house because it's a weird, it's a big house so the living room is kind of big uh i mean kind of spacious so i needed a really good and large um, uh, coffee table i also place in this space of course as you can see a proper bar area uh, with the bar furniture that came um the, the the cupboard for the bar that came with also the pack i love this area and also i place i had to place the the piano I love this uh, this bag. I really do love this bag. I love the vibe and everything. So yeah, still some accent walls here and there. And uh, now we are in the kitchen. I think I placed the kitchen. The, the area that, I, that you're seeing me build right now is the kitchen, a small bathroom, and also the office space for the ranchers here. Um, because they are actually business people. Or business sims <laughs> because they they sell nectar and whatnot I don't know what else they can do on this lot they can do so much um, so they have a, of an office space that will be just next to the kitchen but now we're building the kitchen and all the cabinets the counters the island everything came with the back I don't know why I decided on this color for the kitchen I didn't want to have this darker swatch for the kitchen I don't know why maybe because it looked too cramped or too too much uh, so I prefer I, I settled for this lighter swatch and I think it looks good it looks very very good um, yeah so all those cabinets came with the pack still the stone action um, accent wall but the stove came actually with I think this came with the base game the hood on on top of the stove came with uh, cottage living and I don't want to say I don't want to be mistaken I don't I don't know I don't want to say cottage living for the fridge I'm not sure I don't think it's cottage living I think it might be actually um, what's the name of this the Mount Komorebi, <laughs> the Mount Komorebi pack, uh, Snowy Escape. I'm not sure. I think the French came from Snowy Escape, but I'm not too sure. But anyway, placing everything in placing everything in this kitchen for you seems to actually function properly. A, we have a microwave oven, we have the stove, of course, and we have a um, a tea maker. Yeah. I don't remember the name of that a tea maker uh, because when my sims are sick I never I never buy medicines it, it's too much of a hassle I don't know <laughs> never buy medicines um, I only make them green tea healthy green tea and it it works like a charm so yeah now we are in the office space um, of the businessman of the family or, or the businesswoman or the business person of this family and uh, yeah I wanted it to be kind of sober something that looks a little more serious so not a lot of glitter of course uh, and also big a big bookcase behind the desk 
um, the furniture, all the furniture in this office space, all in the study came also with a pack. I mean, not all the furniture because a little love seat at the back came with a base game and the bookcases came with, I think, City Living uh, or Get to Work. I'm not too sure. Anyway, <laughs> now we are in the first little bathroom because we needed a small bathroom uh, downstairs for the for the guests so when you have people over you don't want them to go to your personal bathroom so they have a small bathroom here um to to go and and, and yeah what not to go and pee maybe take a shower if they were actually on the ranch and maybe the horse the wrench hand can also use this little bathroom here and um, take a shower or anything but yeah we have in this house uh four bathrooms four bathrooms so we have this little bathroom that you saw next to the kitchen we have um the ma the bed bathroom for the parents in the master master bedroom we have two bathrooms upstairs so one for the kids and one for the guest that is staying over uh, or the nanny or yeah the family member who is staying over so uh, yeah now we are upstairs and you're seeing the kids bedrooms. so I decided to build all three bedrooms at the same time because they utilize the same objects so uh, so I built them all at the same time so we have two kids bedrooms one for the girls one for the boy of the family uh, as I said I created the little household so if you remember we have a little girl and a little boy they don't have a baby but if they want to have a baby, I also place a nursery. So I really wanted this house to be functional for everyone to find their, to be happy, you know, um, for everyone to find what they wanted in this house. So if you want to start a new family, you have the nursery ready. Um, we also have a guest room next to the baby's room. I really didn't want to place the guest upstairs with the, with the kids. I mean... When I build, I always think of realism. What would I do in real life? Always, always. So usually, uh, I mean, the parents' bedroom is downstairs. So usually, you don't want to have your guests staying in the same quarters as your kids unattended. Like you don't know what's going on upstairs. But yeah, anyways. Uh, <laughs> We will see that anyway we are in the sims so everything is just pink and everything is just happiness and yeah so you have your guest bedroom here upstairs maybe it's just family members who come in and stay over uh, but it could also be a bedroom for a teenager if you have a teenager in this house but mind you for the guest room uh, for it to be a teenager's bedroom I would personally personalize it a little bit bit more than what I did because because this is a guest bedroom I didn't personalize it as much as the other rooms as you can see the kids bedrooms of course they are very very well personalized um, the theme for the girls bedroom is sh is ship and the, the theme for the boys bedroom is horses so he loves horses so we have um, on the the blanket we have horses we have uh also the um the rug on the on the underneath the bed is horses and it's the same for the girls bedroom but just with ship now you are seeing the guest bedroom as i was talking about and i also placed i also tried to place um in each bedroom i wanted to place in each bedroom a fireplace the little fireplace i love this tiny fireplace that came with the game um as with the pack i love it i wanted to place this little fireplace in every single bedroom but as i told you i always uh, build with realism in mind so i wouldn't want a fireplace in my kids room because it's a hazard it's a fire hazard and kids can uh, can easily get burned in with a fireplace so yeah if they are just playing in their room uh unsupervised they can get burned so i didn't place 
this is the only reason why I didn't place the fireplace in the kids' bedrooms. I placed one in the one in the um, the guest room. I placed one in the parents' bedroom that you just saw here, and this is actually the parents' bedroom that I'm building with those accent walls. I love those accent walls, and, and I love this big fireplace. I think I love the both the fireplaces that came with this uh, with this bag. So yeah, I was saying. I placed one in the kid in the guest room. I placed one for a place in the parents' room. I placed obviously one in the living room, and we have one downstairs in the cellar because it's it could be quite cold in the cellar. You know, it could get quite cold. Uh, but yeah, so the parents' bedroom is kind is really big. It's a big bedroom. Um, I wanted them to have all the comf comfort they wanted and they needed. So I gave them this little lounge space here where they can watch TV with the um, module furniture uh, from uh, Dream Home Decorator. The couch and the armchair came from the Book Nook kit. I also gave them a little rocking chair just in front of the fireplace. They have a TV, as I said. And afterwards, I remembered, I, I realized that I forgot um, their bathroom. I really wanted to build them their personal bathroom because the only bathroom that we have downstairs is the tiny bathroom that you saw in the kitchen. So this, this wouldn't do uh, for the parents. They, you wouldn't want them to just cross the entire house to go to the kitchen to take a shower or just to go upstairs and take a shower. No, this wouldn't do for these ranches here. So what I did afterwards, uh, and I didn't record this part because this video was getting too long anyway, so what I did afterwards is that I made a little bump out on the porch that is just outside of the parents' house on the back of the house, not on the front, but on the back. And in this little bump out here on the porch, I made their little bathroom and it's kind of spacious as well. So it's a nice little bathroom that you will see in the screenshots for the lot tour at the end of this video. So yeah, you will have as usual, um, the rolling screenshots and uh, for the lot tour at the end of this video. So now you're seeing the little entryway with all the everyday clutter kit uh, items that I love. I love especially for entryways. They came in so handy for the entryways and also the little rack here for the coats and and the hat that came with the pack, uh, the horse, expansion, horse wrench expansion pack. I really, I really love it. So yeah, this is for our little entryway with the shoe racks, of course, obviously. And yeah, also next to the parents' bedroom, I placed a kids' room. Um, that's what I call it, or maybe a family room. But uh, yeah, yeah, kind of a family room. It's kind of a second living room but for the kids so as you can see the furniture that i place here are really different from the rest of the house um they look like they are for children <laughs> so the big uh, the big um rug that i placed here came with a base game there this was a nice little addition that came with growing together but uh, yeah it's for the it's from the base game the couch and the love seat came from parenthood the bookcases came with uh, growing together i also placed this little tv for the kids that came also with the base game and the little i love this little radio here on the on the floor that i placed on the floor that came with the little campus kit so this is really a room for the kids to watch tv and also to play games because i think i placed a, a console here um and yeah i forgot this little fireplace here in the in the kids room in the activity room um in the tv room for the kids it's a little the small uh, fireplace and as you can see I placed a fence around it for safety purposes for the kids not to actually go and and burn themselves on this um on this fireplace here oh yeah and you saw um we had the nursery upstairs but I didn't place anything for a baby inside the house because it wasn't my first intention 
because actually uh, the household that I, I created for this house, they don't have a baby. So I didn't want to place things for babies, baby stuff in, in the, the house. So everything for the baby will be in the nursery, the high chair, the potty and... Uh, yeah, everything for the baby will be upstairs. So everything else for kids will be in the house or anywhere outside and everything. So now you're seeing the laundry room. And I love a laundry room. I love a laundry room with the laundry day stuff back. Um, yeah, nothing much to say about it. Now placing the things for our little loved pets. Um, beloved pets uh, for the dog a bowl for the dog a bowl for the cat and also the cat tree that will go upstairs and also a little box with the, with the um with the toys for uh the pets <laughs> now we are upstairs with the kids bathroom upstairs as i said we had two bathrooms upstairs we have a tiny bathroom for a guest that is just next to this one that you can see a little bit you can pick a little bit at it um i didn't record the furnishing of this bathroom but here i recorded the furnishing of the bathroom for the kids and a wall here the wallpaper uh from for this bathroom came with snowy escape I think it looks perfect for a kid's bathroom and obviously I placed the the tub from um, from the whole switch back of course uh, everywhere I think we have two bathtub in this uh, in this house and one in the parents bedroom and one here upstairs and they both came with the whole switch expansion back now placing all the clutters on the counters and the counters that I also placed in the bathroom in this bathroom came with the whole switch expansion pack finishing the upstairs I mean yeah kind of the upstairs with uh, the outside actually with the training ground for the dogs and now we are back we are downstairs back sort of um, for the basement and the cellar um, so I placing everything for your sims to be able to make nectar and also to age their nectar bottles. First of all, I started off by placing everything that I would need eventually to furnish and also to um, to decorate the interior of this uh, little cellar here. And then I placed everything, put everything in the places where I want them to be. Of course, I had to place those barrels for... Uh, the nectar mind you they are just decorative so they are not functional but of course if you think that they are producing nectar maybe they sell some in the bottles but they also maybe they sell when they sell in big quantity for like maybe a bar or maybe i don't know uh, they can sell actually those barrels because in real life i think uh, at the producers uh, they actually age wine into barrels usually but yeah um finishing the decoration of the of this little um cellar here with a table i also gave them a little fireplace um and also a radio for them to listen to when they craft their nectar and also when they package the bottles maybe <laughs> so yeah i think we are at the end of this video guys hope you enjoyed it hope to see you next time for my next video guys and in the meantime take care bye